Yeah, I mean, I, you know, Dana, in the middle of the summer, um, I knew that this was going to be our hardest, you know, our hardest stretch. Um, thought we played very tired last night. Um, had a lot of really good looks that we, we didn't uh, kick in. Um, you know, then you're, you know, you're up Thursday morning at, you know, 6 o'clock to, you know, fly to, you know, to Green Bay, and then they're, they're, they might be changing our game time on because of the Green Bay game. Milwaukee wants to play the game at noon. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's been – you know, I, I knew this was going to be our hardest stretch. Last week I sat here, you know, feeling really good about us and uh, – uh, you know, three games in five days can upset the apple cart in terms of, you know, losing a little bit of confidence. I thought the UIC game we kind of gave away, and and then last night we were out of gas a little bit. Have you noticed a common denominator in the last few Yeah, I think, our, you know, we've turned the ball over too much in big situations. Even though we only had 10 against UIC, I thought that, uh, you know, we had opportunity to, to really kind of, uh, stretch it a little bit in overtime, and uh, we had three turnovers and in, in four possessions, which ended up um, ending it. And then last night we had 21. Again, now last night I, I don't, uh, you know, I'm encouraging how hard we're playing. I'm encouraging, you know, if you told me before the game that we that uh, Hulk, you know, Hogan and Jenkins are two leading scores. One kid had 39, and the other had 26 in the last two games, and. Uh, if, we, if, I, if you told me before the game that if they would have been held in single digits, you know, that we would have uh, lost a basketball game, I, I would have been pretty happy with doing that. So. On the bright spot, Ron, it really sucked up the least yeah. two games. Yeah, you know, right. In, in a lot of ways, you know, he's been our most consistent guy over the last, you know, over the last two weeks. He's posting numbers and getting rebounds and uh, guarding the best guys and, um, you know, he, he, it's been very bright. You know what I mean, he's done a good job. I know you can't, you can't pinpoint things, but, or change things. But, and not, not to go down to this thing with the league, but three games in five days, you guys playing on the road, and it's Detroit play Friday. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, that, that game last night looked like a team that did have played three, three games in five days against a team that played, you know, two games in a week. You know, I mean, it's, uh, um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I, I thought the whole league should have played tonight. Um, the whole league doesn't play until Friday this coming week. They have, the whole league's a Friday, Sunday week. And, uh, you know, some some scheduling IQ would have said, let's play that sucker on, you know, let's play Tuesday. And uh, so it was, uh, you know, we were a pretty tired group last night, but... Uh, we had we had every opportunity to win. I mean, we got uh, was six points. We missed five wide open shots in a row. But again, I thought that we were tired. Is, uh, is Max? Uh, I know he scored last night. Is he kind of? You think maybe kind of getting back to where? Yeah, he's got to find his way. You know, I mean, he's a he's a good basketball player and he's a wonderful person. And I have enjoyed talk. You know, working with him and coaching him every minute that he's been here and. You know, you just got to keep on fighting for it. It's only... 2-2 this week, obviously. Yeah, two tough ones, obviously, on, you know, on the road. And then we then we can back and, you know, have a couple of days where we can practice and, you know, work on our games a little bit and, and uh, you know, get some rest for, you know, the the, the home stretch. You mentioned something they want to change the game. Is that was it Friday? Not Green Bay, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. They want to move the game on Sunday. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um, you know what I mean? But I did. They want to move it off? Yeah, because of the Green Bay, because of that Green Bay television game. I don't know. I, you know, you might know for me. Uh, just. No. No, I mean they're they're you know very good in their building, uh, undefeated in league play there. Um, 
We had a very poor performance here, getting back in transition. That's got to be an emphasis. They're a team that runs it and pushes it, and, and uh, we've got you know we've just got to do a better job against these kind of teams taking care of the basketball, which we did not you know do last night, which we have to do against them to be you know to have a chance. You've got to do two things, and it's you know very simple, but it's not easy. Um, get back on defense and take care of the ball. Uh, I, mean, I, I think we've, you know, I, th I think we've really battled at times defensively. I think it's, I think it's more offense than defense. I think you know we're, when you turn the ball over 20 times and you give up, I don't know, was it it's like 70, you know, mid 70s against Valpo, and uh, at the end of regulation it was low 70s against UIC, and then it's last night, you know, you give up. You know, whatever you gave up with 21 turnovers, it's not, I don't think it's a defensive issue. I think it's an offensive issue of taking care of the basketball. Anything else, guys?